Well, isn't the weather glorious? Welcome back to the vicarage. And as you can see, I'm beginning now to go back into the garden because the weather is wonderful. If you listen carefully, you should be able to hear the bird song, but also the Mayfair that's being held on the green in Caglion. And every so often I can hear a few little screams. Uh, obviously, they're on, on the little sort of uh, fun fair. So, glorious weekend, bank holiday, Monday coming up as well. There's a real sense of buoyancy as we are coming out of this pandemic. A little glimpses of normality. And my prayer is that you continue to stay safe, look after yourself, you know, just, just put that, that sensible hat on. So a very short reflection really on these words taken from Jesus in John's Gospel. It's John chapter 15. And Jesus said to his disciples these words, I am the true vine. My father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. As believers, we can do nothing, nothing, unless we abide in Jesus, unless we know that beautiful intimacy of being with him, him being known in us, and we being so close to him. And as believers, each one of us are those branches that are connected deeply to Jesus. And every so often he does come along and he does have to prune us, to cut out those things in us that are not really good, those things that do not glorify him. Those actions, those words, those thought patterns, habits that do not glorify Jesus, that do not reflect his beauty, his love. So I want to encourage you to draw near to Jesus, to find that place of abiding in him. There are beautiful scriptures out there and, and that, that is one of them. But Jesus also reminds us about every aspect of our lives. So this is a passage that was written by one of his followers. We all know this, this, this apostle Paul. He wrote these words. The fruit we produce is that of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Uh, and those were written in Galatians chapter 5. As believers, we can only bear those fruits by abiding in Jesus. Do you know if we try it in our own strength, we'll fail. We'll never do it. It's all coming out of our love of relationship with Jesus and knowing his love for us. He is the source of our life. And I love that. We look to Jesus. I am the true vine. And his father is the vine grower. So it's wonderful, isn't it? And as you know, with any plant, it has to have good roots, good roots to make it healthy, to be planted in the right place, to be watered, to be nourished, to be fed. So I encourage you this day to actually, whenever you're looking after your plants, I'm rubbish at the moment. I've got a load of bedding plants I need to put in. But I need to know, I need to make sure that when I put those plants in, that I put them in the right place, the right soil, and water them, and give them sunlight. We need to be rooted in Christ and we need to have our face towards the sun. For us, the sun is the Lord Jesus. So be encouraged this day to abide in him, that you will bear all those fruits of the Spirit that I've just spoken about from Galatians chapter five. So let's finish with a, a little 
prayer. Always good to finish these reflections with a short prayer. So, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for teaching us about staying close to you and abiding in you. Help us to be closer and closer to you, that we may bear fruits that give honour to you. The fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, goodness. All those things we offer to you now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Catch up with you soon. God bless and look after yourself and enjoy the bank holiday weekend. Bye.